Meteorologist Mike Kaplan has the latest on the dangerous storms heading our way right now. Mike, a lot of colors there oh, on yeah. your screen. And rarely seen colors, Anita. This is a seldom used high risk. On a scale from one to five, this is now a level five. It includes parts of northwest Illinois and another bullseye of high risk of severe thunderstorms near Memphis. To give you an idea of how rare it is to see a high risk area anywhere in the country, none all of last year, none in 2020, and only twice in 2021. Well, here we are at the end of March, and already there is a, a high risk of intense thunderstorms. Locally, what we have is now the moderate risk area across southern and western portions of Chicagoland, and an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. This is almost a certainty that there is going to be a uh, tornado watch, or at least a severe thunderstorm watch coming out. And I believe that even though it's not showing up yet, a tornado watch is just been issued for portions of western Illinois. It does not include the Chicago area, but it is only a matter of time. So you need to be weather aware. It's warm out. This is the warmest we've been since last November. You want to be outside and enjoy it. Well, look what's going to happen here later this afternoon. There's going to be a round of thunderstorms. A little too early to tell exactly how far east they'll go, but this is going to be the next round of storms. Some of those could be intense. Then the main show, I'm calling it, that will be crossing the Mississippi River. These thunderstorms We'll have everything potential, large hail, damaging straight line winds of hurricane force or greater, and the possibility of tornadoes. Here we are a little before 8 o'clock, moving into the western suburbs, reaching the city by about 8.30. This line is going to be moving at 60 plus miles per hour, tremendous wind energy, and then by about 9 o'clock, it'll be racing through Indiana and out of here by 10 o'clock. So you've got to be weather aware. If you're planning to be outside for any period of time, there are going to be watches, there will likely be warnings, so you need to know ahead of time. Know now, where am I going to go when those storms move into my neighborhood? And make sure you have multiple ways of getting warnings. Emily, Caitlin, and Mark are going to be here on Fox 32 keeping you up to date. Make sure you have that app ready to go on your smartphone also. Back to you, Anita.